Hey folks, welcome back to Deadly Premonition. Okay, last time, uh, we, oh, it's raining, hello. Last time we came out here and then we need, we're gonna go to the hospital and check out the autopsy report and stuff and York is like, well, if I'm gonna be riding in a car, I wanna be the driver. And George is like, I, understandably, um, how about no? Uh, hello. And then York's like, well, besides, I need to learn my way around town, which, you know, that's totally understandable. And then George is like, well, your involvement in this case is limited. You don't need to know your way around town. Now, that's kind of unfair, though. I mean, what what if he wants to go see a movie? What if he wants to go bowling after, after work? What if he wants to order a pizza and he needs to know where the bank is so he can take out a friggin' loan so he can afford it? Uh... Have you seen the price of food in this game? Hello, Jesus. Anywho, and then Emily's like, we better get a move on. The hospital closes at 2100. It's not even lunchtime yet. So I guess um, let's just go ahead and get in the car. I don't, I, I, York really shouldn't be driving. Or I shouldn't be driving. Are they at least going to be in the car with, Agent Morgan, oh God. get us there quickly, but drive within the speed limit. <laughs> just because you have a badge doesn't mean you can drive like a maniac. George, what are you, his mother? <laughs> yeah. We just need to get the autopsy results. Okay, Agent you... York isn't accustomed to the town yet. Give him a little slack. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, give me a little slack, please. For God's sake, please. And she well, keeps then, waving. York, let's get going. Sure. Sounds good. Yeah, sounds great. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, um... How, how... How, how do you get to, um... Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna check the map here real quick because I have no idea where the hell I'm going. Uh, there we go, map. Okay. Um, 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 um. Oh crap! What 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 what's going on here? Oh, um, crap. Why is it why is it going up like that? There we go. Okay. Hospital is here, and I am where? Is that Muffer Muffler Road? Okay. Where the hell are we? Okay, right here. Here, here, here's us. So January way. Now that's gonna take us way out to the boonies. Um. All right, all right. I don't know my way around. All right, give me a break. Okay. All right, I, I think I've got it. I think I got it. I'm gonna forget where I'm going. I am. Um... I, I, am I even out of the parking lot? Oh crap. I'm off the road. Sorry. Um, this way. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm sorry, George. Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. Well, I am driving within the speed limit and mostly on the right side of the road. So... At least I think I'm driving the speed limit. Hell if I even know anymore. Oh, oh crap. There's there's a no, it's not a red light. Okay. There are like no red lights in this town, which which is kinda good, I guess. Okay, alright. I think there's another um Agent Morgan. I can't help noticing you yeah, prefer there we work go. alone. Yeah. Most of the time, yes. Don't you get lonely, flying all over the country alone? I must say, I've never felt lonely. Are you married? Unfortunately, <laughs> relationships and I are fleeting strangers. I don't get on very well with women, you might be surprised to hear. That's because you're young. You notice things like that at my age. You have to treat women carefully, like a I think thin I'm going crystal wine glass. If you <laughs> they can cut scars oh, on crap, your face, crap. just like yours, right? Right. George, is this an interrogation? I and I think I might be going the wrong way. Uh, but let's not talk about my scar. It was caused by a 
problematic woman. I think well, I am she got going you totally the wrong way. Terribly good. It'll fade away, and nobody will notice it in a week. A week? It's not that light of a wound. I'm totally going the wrong way. Okay. So, Emily, tell me. Is there really a need for a full-time sheriff in a small town like this? I'm sure it is small to your city eyes, but any gathering of people city leads eyes. to all kinds of problems. Fights, runaways, stray pets. Oh, that's a big You're problem. Too fixated on violent crimes. Our job is to guide the people along the correct path, first and foremost. Now, that's, that's what right. I consider to be Let's my just go through the, the sheriff so of Greenville. Jeez. Back there he is, the monarch in all his glory. Okay. Kind of makes me glad that I wasn't born here. Did you oh, say something? Sorry. Agent Morgan? No, nothing, George. Oh, crap. I was just reflecting on a little history. Well, we're in the middle of a homicide investigation. Keep your mind on the matter at hand. I'm, okay, I'm which totally screwed right up now here. is driving. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, God. This way? Oh, nope, not that way. On, on the plus side, I think I'm getting slightly better at these uh, 15 point turns here. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Was there a training card over there? I should have gotten out and got it. Wait, 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 crap. Turn. No, no, I don't want to get out of the car. I want to turn the car. Just keep weaving my way around town until I eventually get to the hospital. I'm having a good time. It's it's only eleven. It's not still not well. Technically, I guess it kind of is lunchtime. Not driving like a complete moron anymore. Excuse me. Woohoo! Why is the hospital all the way out here in the sticks? Why is the whole town all the way out here in the sticks? Well, never mind that. Not, no. Fortunately, there is not much traffic here. Oh. Yeah! This way, right? Hey, we're here. I didn't kill us yet. Oh, okay. Greenvale General Hospital. That's a pretty big hospital. I guess they wanted to be ready for uh, townwide food poisoning. No, no, it's another leftover. Why are we standing out here in the rain days. talking about this? Could you imagine now, though, isn't it? My mother always talked about. Can we? Can we at least get under that lawning there? Almost like a gold brush. Can we? Can she used to say. I mean, well, I guess York's got that raincoat on, and but Emily is going to catch her death of cold. Faster it cools, and so now so, yeah, there's hardly anyone which, left to use this place. It pains me to watch my hometown lose so many citizens. Beyond your understanding, I'm sure. Oh, well. Yes, I'm what sorry to say that burnt. it is. Indeed. And that's why this case is Oh, here we go problem. again. There really See, isn't any every need time they involved. talk, he does this shit. <laughs> we get it, George. You don't want... And then Emily waves, as she does. Okay. Come on, York. Let's go. Let's move it. Ooh, country ham. Oh, God. Hello, Sheriff. It's the whistling song. <laughs> Reckly Fiona. Hi. Hi. Hi there, Fiona. We're here to see Usha. Do you Usha? know where he is? I think Dr. Johnson is in the computer room. A computer room? In a um, yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. FBI agent. Hos hospitals the computer have room computers. Is where our employees share a computer. Very nice to meet you, too. <laughs> I'm FBI Special Agent Francis. <laughs> Shove the bad chap in her face. Yeah, he does How did that. You know I was FBI. <laughs> Your raincoat. None of the no. police in this town wear cologne. Besides, uh, that scar on <laughs> your face is the biggest rumor in town. Already, I've, I've been here like a spread, day. Even in the countryside. What's that you're reading, if I may ask? Liar's house. It looks cheerful. You haven't heard of this yet? It's a recent bestseller mystery. It's set in the U.S., a small traditional uh, North American so is this town game. close to the Canadian border. A so is this game. A traditional place. 
However, that peaceful town is shattered by a terrible crime. Wow. The murder of a local girl. And that incident causes grief and sadness to everyone in town. Okay. But everyone feels the seditious, heinous, evil still lurking <laughs> alive. Yes, much like the situation right now here in Greenvale. Fiona, Thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> With Anna dead and all. Don't worry. Books are written to entertain, and it's good you're enjoying it. What we're faced with here is a terrible crime committed in a real world. Oh, well, Much different not from exactly, that of a novel. but, you know, whatever. So I'm no not going to split apologize. hairs over that. Thank you, Agent York. Okay. The computer room. That's right. Okay, so where, pray tell, is the computer room? Computer room. Oh, there's a map over here. Oh, there's a phone. Why don't I just uh, phone home here real quick? Yes, please. Okay. Office. Ward. I'm just gonna run run the hospital. Oh, this is this is cozy. Ward. Office. Oh, there's a there's a thingy up there. Okay. Treatment hospital. Treatment hospital. Okay. Oh, a map. Yes. Looks like each section is named after a chess piece. Okay. Interesting. Sup. Let's go. Okay. All right. Yeah, the computer room would be somewhere this way, right? Yes, your doctor told us that you air to be our patient. Accept our enthusiastic congratulations and well wish for your coming event. And be assured that we have a very personal interest in your case and have already taken steps to see to T that your stay in the Palo Alto Hospital will be pay us a social visit before you enter. We want to many and greet you for yours. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> Oh, this is even better. <laughs> Medicament storage. Hickey storage. <laughs> dissecting room. Dead house. Sleep lab. You know, th th here's a fun fact. Uh, Sweary, the guy bump, the head honcho here, of uh, the team that created this game, actually took the entire dev team on a field trip, I believe to Washington State, to do research for this game. So I would like, I saw a post on Tumblr about that, and I would like to believe that they actually knew all the proper words and everything, but they just did this because it was funny. Love your eyes, like your eyes, wah ha ha, registration and fill room eight, therapeutic see what, blood strain collection, x-ray room, hello kitty, <laughs> chest x-ray, yeah for my girl, Polyclinic Mechanics Exam of Internal Medicine 4. What is this even? That's uh, too small to read. Okay, let's go back this way. Where's the hickey storage? I wanna I wanna take some hickeys for the road here. That's I guess this one. Computer room. Ah, there we go. Hi. We couldn't find him. Fiona needs to check her information. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oh shit, it's Does a puzzle. Does the doctor like playing games by any chance? What do you mean? You th think maybe There's he might like to play chess? And a card key already set in place. Oh hell. The king passes the rook and meets the bishop. Oh god. The knight takes a pawn along for the queen. What does that all mean? It's a simple puzzle. Zach, let's take him up on his challenge. 
You can do this, right? Oh yeah, I'm totally up for this. Okay, King passes Rook. Okay, where's the king? No, that's the king, right? Yeah. This is where meets bishop. Alright, takes a pawn to the queen. Hold up. Okay. Rook. Bishop. What? Okay. Let's try this again. Zach, something is still missing. We need <laughs> more clues. Something is still missing. Okay. Knight, pawn, rook, bishop, queen, king. Could it be the order of the, uh, let's, let's talk to people here. The, thank you, Emily. Thank you, Deputy Obvious. I love you. That doesn't seem all that simple to me. Well, great. Okay. Hang on a second. Look like Daleks. Okay, let's see. Jeez. Okay. Nope. Okay. Queen. King. Nope. Nope. Okay, let's just think about this. Nope, that's not it either. Okay. Okay, well about the only thing I haven't done is try just doing them in the order that they're mentioned. King, Rook, Bishop. I can is it it cannot possibly be that Are you shitting me? Really? That's it. That that's it. <laughs> The doctor awaits below with the deceased. Oh, goody. Another code? But there's nowhere to insert a password. More games. I'm going to get <laughs> Fiona to call Usha up here right now. <laughs> you do no that, George. George. The message appeared with the card key. It's telling us where to use it. The more. This is not the time to be joking around, Agent Morgan. Dr. Usha is below with the deceased. With Anna. Below being underground, I take it. Simple. Simple. Uh huh. Then it's time to meet the mischievous architect of this little game. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's just um. Oh God, the the badass FBI music is playing. I cannot believe really it was that simple. So yeah, that's um that is one of my bad habits. I tend to overthink the living shit out of puzzles like this. I but seriously though, Sweary, come on, dude. That was that was not cool. Let's see, let's watch TV for a minute. I earned a I earned a TV break. Oh, hello. <laughs> Check the weather. Might rain in the evening. Okay, that's that's fine. I get a couple extra bucks for that. All right. This way. It's down there. Now can I open the door? Yeah. Okay, so it's like right down there somewhere? Is there an elevator somewhere that I can, uh... Dead house, sleep lab, hic hickey storage, okay. 
There's got to be an elevator that I can use or some stairs or something. Oh, hey, 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 hey. A money. There we go. Ah, there's some, there's a, there's a stairs. Okay, here we go. Caution your body. Yes, we've, we've cautioned our body quite well today. Odd uh, lady's room is chained up. Okay. Anything in the men's room? I gotta pee. Man, says the sign. <laughs> not just men, man. Hmm, not bad. What's that noise? Okay. What is what is this noise I'm hearing? Oh, excuse me. Oh, that that's what it is. Oh, okay. I will I will leave you alone. You're you're busy. Wiping the same two tiles over and over and over again. Let's love your eyes again. Turn on off. Beep. Let me in. That is some high tech shit there. It's like Star Wars sound effects and stuff. Premarital exam guide. Wait a minute, what? Pre-examination service, reg registration, and filling in forms, therapeutic blood serine collection, dollar rine collection. Uh, yeah, I've, I've got a logic exam, pre-marital education. Save your life. Uh, I've looked at that one. There's some, uh, oh, that's, that's not fine print, that's a, that's a vent. Oh, 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 that's, um. See what's in this overpriced vending machine here. Oh, and there's a phone too. Cool. Okay. What? Uh, twenty-four dollar lollipop, thirty-five dollar crackers. How about no? No. No. Just no. What's in this? OSHA required signs come into size. <sighs> they <laughs> instead of putting the sign up, they put the sign about the signs up. Okay. Anyway, let's just um head on in here. I trust George and Emily will be along behind me. Hey, bro. Excuse me. Asha, sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, you made it. Let's get started, shall we? <laughs> yes, let's. This is Agent Morgan from the FBI. Shove the badge up in his face. Mm, Go nice on. Nice to meet you. Go on, York. I'm Do Lisa it. Johnson, the doctor in this There's hospital. A, wait, FBI doctor? special agent <laughs> Francis York Morgan. <laughs> there you go. I need to make Please a drinking game York. for this. Holy crap. Everyone calls me that. And Emily is <laughs> just like, Jesus, Very take the well, wheel back Agent there. York. Are you a forensic practitioner? Well, let's just say I've dealt with corpses before. You're a doctor. Of course that you dealt with corpses. That battle of wits, by the way. Did you create that yourself? Mm-hmm. I just wanted to see if our FBI agent uh, could Oh, George is task. like, oh, hell no. I see. Well, it was pretty fun. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you liked it. Oh, York made a friend. We don't have much time. We what need was that noise? results. Oh, that was George banging on something, I guess. Next time, try challenging us without obstructing an investigation. You've angered the monarch. <laughs> <laughs> so. From the onset of rigor mortis, the stiffening of the muscles, the time of death is estimated to be between 20 and 2200 hours. Okay. Uh, that's still quite early for such a crime to take place. Oh. Note that there are two exterior wounds, pressure marks around the neck, oh, and a long cut running from chest to abdomen. 
and blood marks on her right hand tell us she was gripping something round in her right hand. Uh-huh. And George looks at his hand, Emily looks at her hand. Her Why are you looking at your hands? Fractured, but that is unrelated to the cause of death. It probably happened to her after she was killed. Okay. Now, I first thought death by suffocation due to the marks on her neck. Uh-huh. But after further investigation, I now have a different conclusion. Which is? Spit it out, man. The direct cause of death was loss of blood from the wound. You think that would have been kind of obvious? I mean, her stomach was sliced open. Which means... <laughs> she was cut up while she was still alive. Oh, God. Yes, uh, a sharp knife was used. It was inserted beneath the sternum and then quickly sliced downwards. The excessive loss of blood from her internal organs is what actually uh, killed her. Emily's gonna yarf. Her nails are clean, and with no skin cells from the attacker. Uh huh. She also doesn't appear to have been bound nor badly beaten. She was apparently killed without resistance. Okay, that's The most weird. tragic thing, however, was that she was unable to speak her story to anyone who could hear her cries. Uh, okay. All right, Emily's freaking out. The perpetrator cut out Hannah's tongue. Oh, God. Well, I believe she was drugged first to phase her consciousness, and then the killer killed her. And the music just now, perks up all of a sudden. The killer most likely has a deep, traumatized past concerning women. Not all he killers. probably cannot converse with them normally. Cutting out the tongue suggests a very lonely individual. Either that or a truly hardcore sadist. <laughs> or a little column A, little column B. He must get off on watching women suffer, especially when they can't answer back. Uh, yeah. Now, he watched Okay, blood now we don't body. really need the uh, dramatic reenactment cold. here. A uh, case in Seattle in 1985. Okay, here we go. Pertinent information. Usher, please limit your report to your findings as a doctor. Yeah, thank you. Criminal profiling is my job. <laughs> You're wrong, also. Anna died fully, deeply, painfully aware of what was happening to her. But, oh, God, uh, we're going to freak Emily out some more here. Tell me, what time did it stop raining on the night Anna was killed? Uh, uh, just before I went to bed, right after the movie on TV ended, so around 1 a.m. What movie was it? An American Is that Werewolf relevant? in London. I don't think so. Uh, directed by John Landis, 1981. Oh, my God, York, you... So Big the rain dork. stopped, accompanied by the ending song, Blue Moon. Someone George, is would you my mind door. if I examined Hold Anna on myself? Second. What more do you hope to find? I'm sure I mentioned that I have a personal interest in cases like these. Well, that's a first. I've never had a uh, video interrupted by the door-to-door -door Jesus peddlers before. <laughs> no, I do not have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior. I'm conducting an investigation here. Okay. He can't be that old. Now, he looks pretty young. Reasonably good-looking dude. Looks trustworthy. Hi, George. <laughs> Uh, hi. Okay, there we go. Yes. That doesn't look like tears to me, but... Okay. Oh, it's that, that symbol that keeps popping up in the loading screens and stuff. Fake fingernails, okay. Oh my god, her feet. 
No kidding. Okay, that that's kind of gross, York. I'd rather not. Oh god. From her lack of resistance, I'd say that Anna's injuries happened very quickly. Unable to speak, she was then left to cry herself to death. Zack, it's all starting to come together. Is it really? The perpetrator stayed with her for at least two hours until it stopped raining. At the estimated time of her death, it was still raining. But you can still see tear marks on her cheeks. Uh-huh. That means she was killed under a roof somewhere. Hmm. She was then carried into the woods. So, After George, you still want me to butt out of your investigation? <clears throat> there, there's one other thing. Her tongue was removed with a very blunt knife. In fact, it's more likely it was simply chopped off. Oh. Asha, are you a passionate man? What? Well, not particularly, I mean, but I am man enough oh, for the moment to call for. York, George, please. how about you? I'm very passionate. Yes. Oh, God. Especially is this this is not the time or the place, is it? I don't see what that Thank you, George. George, the perpetrator is just like you. He's passionate about women. He's a passionate kisser. This was a kiss of death. He bit uh, her tongue off. Oh, oh. Ew. <laughs> ew. We get a dental print from a wound like this. But this is still a big lead. So are we looking for, for Jaws for Moonraker or some shit now? Hi. Oh, God. <laughs> Someone's gonna faint. Or puke. Jackpot, Zack. A shame, but our old-time all-American sightseeing tour just came to an end. This case is now under the jurisdiction oh, of the snap. FBI. Oh, snap. Shit just got real. I'm assuming command. I'll need you to assist me in the investigation. <laughs> oh, shit. What in the hell do you mean, Agent Morgan? I know I said I was passionate. But you can't think. I no, did this. No, George, settle down. That's not why I'm assuming command, George. You're a suspect just as much as every other passionate man on Earth. Let me show you something. Uh huh. Oh. Uh -huh. How many of those are you carrying around with you, York? Jesus. There you go. Amazing, huh? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but most of the details are top secret. Oh, snap. George, Emily, we should be going. <laughs> no need to stay here any longer. No, no. Okay, okay. take your pedals with you. I have York. to sign the release. Just give me a moment. Very well. I'll go on ahead. I can't take it any longer down here. Oh, God. Get you an e-cigarette, York. Come on, they're great. Bishop takes queen, his rook takes your queen, then your knight takes rook. And checkmate. Huh? <laughs> oh, I should so impressed. York, you got a new fanboy. My first victory in the Grandmaster ranking. Oh my god. Um, York, York, um, there's, there's some red vines and hmm? shit going up around you here. Did you notice that? Yeah. This is why you don't smoke in a hospital. Zack, they're here. Okay, folks. Well, I'm going to take a little break and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.